little slice of paradise. My name is Shannon and this is Terra Miko Farms. Let's show you around the place. So on the farm, we have everything ranging from tomatoes, potatoes, kale, lettuce, and all sorts of different peppers. These are some raised beds here. Let's go take a look around. And today, we took a lot of peppers that have been growing on the farm. We're gonna do some canning and preserve a lot of those peppers. More peppers here. We've got some artichoke. The kale is really blossoming. We've got a lot of kale that we can eat here. And we use a lot of onion in our cooking, so we can have these onions are ready to go, and we just planted some new ones that'll be ready for. A lot of tomatillos, make some salsa verde, some chili. Lettuce, lettuce is blossoming, as well as the basil. Got a lot of basil, more peppers. And these poblanos are getting really nice. We also have a couple of banana trees at the farm too. So these have been in the ground for about three years now. We're just waiting for the day that we can taste those bananas. A couple of olive trees here. Got our own olives, as well as some fig trees. Got about three of those. And being at the farm too, we've gotten to let our creative sides flow a little bit. And since we don't have real cows, we decided to make a couple of wooden cows here that we painted. Here's some of the other cow paintings. These are the kind you can put your face into. And this is the tomato farm. Goes all the way back. So most of the vegetables are actually on about two out of the five acres that are here at Charmico Farms. So most of it is all tomatoes in the field, but also in the raised beds. So we produce a lot of tomatoes here of all sorts. I think 35 different varieties. Now we're getting to my favorite part, which has to do with the animals. We have a couple of goats in the background there and all the dogs. And here is Maya. Say hi, Maya. Hi, girl. This one is Abby. She's about two years old, little Abby. This is Maggie. She's the protector of the farm. And here comes Jasper. Hi, big boy. Hi, Jasper. Shadow loves to soak up the sun. And actually, Shadow is the father of Abby over there. So those two are related. Here's our greenhouse. I love those sunflowers. Let's go check in on those goats. Let's go say hi. So this is our goat pen. It's a temporary pen right now. This is where they sleep at night for the most part, but they really just like to adventure and hop all around. This one is Paisley. Just come and say hello. That's little Paisley. They're just about two and a half months old. And this one, Penelope. This one is Penelope. She's quite the talker. Say hi. Penelope getting a little drink out of the pool. Hi, Penelope. We just got them about two weeks ago, so we're so excited to have them as a part of the farm now. So these two are boer goats. Um, they're for meat goats, but we keep them as our pets. Um, we could also have had dairy goats, any other kind, but we like to keep them around and have them on the farm. Hi, Penelope. Wanna come over? So this one's Penelope. Oh, she's a little feisty one. She's quite the talker. She's just chewing on some cud right now. And the dogs love the goats. Everybody loving on the goats? Mm -hmm. Hop on up. So as a part of owning goats is that you have to clean and feed them every day, just like any other animal. So we make sure that we keep their pen super clean, keep everything nice and tidy and dry. And they are eating grain and alfalfa right now, along with some other hay and other grasses and plants from around the farm. We give them lots of goodies, so these two are pretty spoiled. So most of the dogs get along totally fine with the goats. These two love to be with the goats all the time. Abby and Maya basically live in the goat pen. So most of the time, the goats can be wandering around outside this area 
And then we do let them out into the rest of the farm as well, where they get tons of goodies, but they always come back in here to sleep. Hi, Penelope. Hi, Pace. And here we have our chicken coop. We got to build them a little chicknick table one day. Looks like most of the girls are inside. We have 14 chickens. And it looks like a lot of them are laying right now. And this is the rest of the farm. It's about three acres back here that is undeveloped. And as it always is with farming, there's always projects to do. So we've talked about putting in a pond back here, also adding more tomato field, extending the tomatoes back here, and there's so much room for other vegetables and more potential back here. So just off of the tomato field, right in front of the goat pen, we have our own vermicomposting system. So we use these worms, we have some red wigglers and night crawlers in this bin, turning the compost, food scraps, any yard clippings into great, great soil. Those worm castings can then be used in our organic farm. So when you open up our worm bin, you'll find we have all of our food scraps, anything that's compostable to try and reduce our waste and be as sustainable as possible. So here you can see we've got some corn, some eggshells, and these worms should be going to work down here. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, here's a couple of guys. Here we go, they're underneath the surface. Just some worms going to work. Oh yeah. Let me come over here and say hi to the girls. Hi girls. Hi. Oh, hello Penelope. Hi Pace. Hello. Hi little baby. And as you've probably noticed, there's this giant concrete slab right here. We just had this put in two days ago. Uh, we're doing a huge construction project right now. We're gonna be building an outdoor kitchen. It's gonna be a bonfire pit right where Shadow is laying. There's gonna be a bonfire right here in this area, big outdoor kitchen and new patio. Hi puppies. So inside the kitchen here, these are all the peppers that we harvested earlier. Lots and lots of jalapenos, a few poblanos, and we're going to be canning and pickling some of these. Also, just a lot of cabbage, massive, massive cabbage from earlier this week, and the potatoes that are left over from yesterday. We had them for dinner. So after walking around the farm and seeing all of these vegetables that we're growing, you might wonder what do we do with them all? We have a little farm stand right outside of our driveway here. And this is just on the honor system. So cars can come and drive on up. They put their tomatoes on the scale here. Um, sometimes we also put out our broccoli, zucchini, other goods that we have. So we put everything out here that we can. Um, any preservatives as well. Sometimes we do some canning, make some sauce and paste, and we're able to um, put these out on the farm cart. And this is how our neighbors find us. We just have signs out on the streets telling people that we have heirloom tomatoes available and where to find us. So that's our farm. We're so excited to be starting this journey and to be bringing different videos to you every day about these little girls, all the vegetables that we are growing here, and just every adventure that comes along with owning a small farm. Mm -hmm.